Hi everyone, and welcome to Secret Garden. The plant continues to develop and is getting ready to move to the vertical growth phase. The roots keep gaining mass and are in a good condition. This episode is mainly devoted to the fact that I came face to face with an expected problem – a scheduled holiday. The deal is that the plant is no longer a tiny shoot, but a rather developed little tree, which consumes up to 100 ml of water each 24 hours and I try to replenish it every second day. At this point I really shouldn't leave the plant unattended. First, I considered buying a tiny smart monkey and trying it to add the solution in my absence. Unfortunately, no suitable species were delivered to the local pet shop, and those I did have in stock didn't suit the purpose. So this option was out, and once again I was left to my own devices and had to do it all the hard way. So today we'll need the following. A small water pump, a plastic tube from the micro-irrigation kit, a smart Wi-Fi socket, and an old smartphone. Even with a broken screen will do. Just make sure the camera is still functioning. Attaching the tube to the pump. The size of the pump outlet doesn't quite fit the diameter of the tube, so I fix it with a blue insulation tape. For reservoir I used a cut-off pop bottle. Everything according to the latest hobo technologies. This of course has nothing in common with stealth, but in this case it doesn't really matter, cause no one is going to enter the space during my absence anyway. The pump I chose was the cheapest and low powered. Setting the power regulator at the required value and timing how long it takes for it to pump 200 ml of water. The result about 20 seconds. And to turn it on and off, I use a smart Wi-Fi socket. The AliExpress doesn't carry these ones like mine anymore, but they do have ton of similar stuff. They all work in pretty much the same way. You download the app on your smartphone, register, connect the socket, and voila, you got access from anywhere in the world. Last year, for example, I used to turn on the refill while being on the opposite side of the globe. These sockets also have a timer. And in theory, you can use them as a timer to control the daylight of the plant. But because of some bug in those devices, the timer malfunctioned in about 10% of the cases. So I decided that the mechanical timer is just a safer option for now. It's quite possible that other models don't have this glitch anymore. So far, I had no problems with the remote access. Removing the refilling tube and installing the tube connected to the pump. Make sure that the end of the tube is set above solutions level in the bottle. Otherwise, even after the pump stops working, the solution will continue to flow into the container and then outside the grow box. Or it might flow back into the bottle after the pump stops. In my case, to tackle this problem, the grow box stands on a small stand. When I am away, I make the solution weaker than usual, bringing its concentration from 50 to 70% of the nominal. And for the refilling, I use a solution that has a concentration of 25%. During the following week, the ppm level will be growing, but I won't be able to measure it and perform an intermediate flush if required. So it's better to stay on the safe side and make the solution a bit weaker. One and a half liter of the solution for refilling should be enough for one week. In general, if you know the approximate flow rate of the solution, you can estimate that you need to turn on the pump once every two days for 20 seconds. But the plant is growing and during the week the rate may grow too. That's why to be on even safer side, I decided to place a surveillance camera inside my grow box. I decided not to buy a webcam for my observation, but simply used an old smartphone and the Alfred camera app. It's all very easy there as well. You download the app, register yourself on it, then place the phone inside the grow box and then just peep at the plant. The most important thing for me is to be able to see the float. Setting the smartphone inside the grow box. Generously applying the hot glue onto the touch screen and gluing it to the grow box wall. Kidding, of course. I simply used a copper wire to create a small frame with a hook for it and carefully hung it opposite the float. Logging into our Alfred camera account and observing. 
Let's also do the test refill using remote control. Turn on the phone spotlight for a better quality picture. We can now go on a vacation with a peace of mind. Please support this video with that like button, consider subscribing and maybe leave a comment below. And that's all for today. Happy growing everyone! Goodbye!